With our moon being more than 4.5 billion years old, it's impossible to believe that it only took a few hours for it to come into existence. As NASA continues to study outer space on a deeper level than ever before using modern technology, new revelations have been coming to light left, right and center. So what exactly led NASA to make this shocking discovery about the moon? Let's find out all about it. While most astronomers can agree on the fact that the moon has been around for as long as the Earth, the origins of the celestial body have always been up for debate. While the Big Bang Theory does account for most of it, scientists have been pondering over the creation of the moon for a while now. From all the information that we've collected in the past, the scientists over at NASA have theorized that the moon came into existence when a Mars-sized object in space called Theia collided with the Earth. As a result of the collision, a huge amount of debris was released and over a period of months and years, this debris turned into what we now know as the moon. It was when this debris was sent into circulation inside the Earth's orbit that the moon was formed. Until now, this was the most widely accepted theory about the moon's formation. However, a recent simulation that's been created by using one of NASA's supercomputers tends to tell us a very different story. To start things off, our solar system is full of space rocks and celestial bodies that can pretty much destroy the hint with the most subtle of collisions. Which is why scientists often like to probe and break these space rocks to study them in detail in an attempt to find out what is it that makes up most of outer space. And in addition to just grabbing samples of space rocks and studying them, NASA has now also started experimenting with detailed space simulations that can further help them understand how and why things happen in outer space. One of these simulations has been designed to study the moon on a level like never before. From samples that we've collected on the moon, scientists know that the space body shares a lot of similar chemical properties with the Earth. What this means is that any object that must have collided with the Earth to result in the formation of the moon would have had to be much smaller than the Earth. Why? Well, because there is a greater percentage of the Earth's material that makes up the moon than anything else, especially when you talk about the outer crust. How do we know this? Well, this has been a widely accepted fact ever since the Apollo missions went to the moon and brought back samples of rock and soil from the moon back to Earth. And from what these samples showed, the Earth and the moon have some pretty remarkable similarities in terms of their chemical composition. So if you think about it, if the moon was created somewhere else in the galaxy and then trapped by the Earth's gravitational orbit, why would it have the same composition as our own planet? The only way to make sense of this is if we assume that the moon was either created at the same time as the Earth or it's a broken off part of the very planet that we live on. But then again, we have the problem of the mineral proportions being just slightly different from one another. For example, the minerals on the moon contain lesser traces of water. So, to study these differences, astronomers over at NASA are trying to get their hands on as many lunar samples as they can to really understand what the moon is made up of. Now, of course, this sounds like a lengthy process that might have taken years and years to come to fruition as layer by layer of debris settled down and accumulated itself into what we know as our moon. However, NASA's latest simulations present a different story altogether, showing to the world how the moon may have just formed within a matter of couple of hours right as the material from the Earth and Theia were launched directly into orbit after the collision. And while this might not sound like that big of a deal, once you realize the fact that no one was expecting this to be the outcome of this simulation, you know that this is a milestone that's going to help scientists understand the moon, its composition and evolution on a whole other level. Getting into what the simulation actually did to prove how long it took for the moon to fully form, let's talk about the single stage formation theory. Single stage formation of the moon means that if, let's say, Theia collided with the Earth, releasing a massive amount of debris that forms not one, but two other bodies at first, now the larger body ultimately descends down below to re-emerge with the Earth, while the smaller one remains in orbit and that's how we get the moon. So while the scientists are sure of the Earth colliding with Theia, what we don't know is what happened once the collision happened and how it resulted in the formation of the moon. Now if you're still confused, don't worry, because so are we. Essentially, the problem here is that to understand the moon's origins, all that scientists can do is take existing lunar samples, 
and then use technology to imagine scenarios that could have led to the formation of such rocks. In addition to this entire idea that we just talked about with Thea colliding with the Earth and creating the moon out of debris, in the past, scientists have proposed a number of other ideas as well, one of them being the Synesio model which suggests that after the collision, the moon was formed inside a swirl of vaporized rocks and debris. However, this theory lacks to account for the moon's current orbit, so that automatically throws this one out of the question. The single-stage theory, on the other hand, does offer an explanation for this much-debated issue. In this case, the moon automatically enters a wider orbit with an interior that is not fully molten. But of course, this is all just speculation for now, and further confirmation of the theory is going to require heavy testing and sampling. This is when NASA's Artemis missions come in that are going to allow scientists to collect samples from different parts of the moon to see exactly how they fare against our speculations and simulations. The Artemis that was originally scheduled to take off to the moon at the end of September 2022 has been facing some major delays because of safety and weather concerns. However, once the spacecraft is functional, it's going to help NASA validate all the claims that they have been making since the development of this simulation. Now, if you're confused and wondering exactly why all of this is such a big deal, let's break it down. The single-stage theory not only tells us that the moon came into being in just a couple of hours, but it also confirms the fact that most of the moon comes from nowhere else but the Earth. So in studying the moon on a deeper level, we are also going to have a chance to learn all about our own planet side by side. Not just that, but the space agency also decided to take things up a notch and really go all in with the simulation. Instead of settling for a low quality resolution, the simulation created for this research is extremely detailed just because the scientists don't want to miss out on any important aspects of the collision to see how planets and other celestial bodies behave. The extra computational power used to create this simulation clearly helped the researchers determine how one can miss out on important behaviors that emerge out of collisions, which might be the reason why we have been in the dark about the creation of the moon to this day. And once all of this information has come out, NASA has come to the conclusion that the histories of our planet and its moon might overlap more than we have ever considered. And once we manage to pinpoint exactly where this point of shared origin lies, the same idea is probably going to be applicable to all other planets and their moons. So what might look like just a simulation as of now can end up being our key to all the mysteries in the universe. That's it for today, folks. See you soon with more content like this.